Hi, welcome to the uh, homework. Lesson 2, this is Grade 2, Module 3. Write your name first. First question is just a counting question. How many in all? Now you might notice these are kind of arranged in groups. If you count a row, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, that's 8. But if you go down, see how they're paired up like this? If you look at a group like this, you can see 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. They're, they're in columns, like sort of in groups of 10. So that's an easy way to count them. So how many ones are there? How many stars? How many single stars are there? There's 40 stars. How many tens is that? That's 1, 2, 3, 4 tens, right? 40 is 4 tens. 40 stars in all. It's kind of a crippled looking zero. I'll fix that guy there. There. Number two, there are bundles with 10 sticks in each. So these, each one of these is a bundle of 10 sticks. How many tens are there? Uh, and if I see a group of 10 of them, I'm going to circle it because that'll make 100. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So there's ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. There's fourteen tens. How many hundreds? There's one hundred. How many sticks in all? You can count these by ten, but you know that this is a hundred, so that's a hundred, ten, 120, 130, 140. Sally did some counting. Look at her work. Explain why you think Sally counted this way. Now look at what she's doing. She's counting up by ones here, and then she starts counting up by tens. And then she starts counting up by ones again. So, uh, it's, I think, this is the way that um, we practice it in class is that when you're counting on from 100 if you're counting on from 177 to 214 you'd count up by ones until you got to the next 10 right and so there's, there's an 80 right there so we call that a 10 because 80 90 those are the numbers we say when we count by 10. so if she's counting by tens and then here 200 is a 10 and then we have another 10 and then she only has to if she she can't she's not going to 220 so now she has to count by ones to get the rest of the way so it's just easier to count by tens when you have when you start with a 10. so you're not saying 177 187 197 it's a lot easier to count when you get to the to a regular 10 number to count by 10. so uh i think she counted up to the next 10. Or to, or just, you could just say just to 180. It's easier to count. Tens. Then she had to count by ones. Something like that. You know, it doesn't have to be exactly what I wrote word for word. You might think of a way to say it that's a lot better than the way I thought of. And it might be, you might have to, might find a way to write it with fewer words. So, but it's something that says what we just, what I just talked about there. For show a way to count from 68 to 130 using tens and ones. Explain why you chose to count this way. So this is going to be similar. Um, if we start at 68, we'll want to go to 69 next 
and then 70. Now we can count by tens, right? So well, it's just easier. We could have counted by tens from 68. It just would be 68, 78, 88, 98, 108, and like that until we got to 128. But it's really just a lot easier to just go to 70 first. Because then we can go 70, 80. It's just easier. 90, 100, 110, 120, 130. And why? It's easier to count tens from a ten. And that they, you know what? You could use that for your sentence in the earlier question. That would probably just be enough. Uh, draw and solve. In her classroom, Sally made 17 bundles of 10 straws. How many straws did she bundle in all? So draw and solve. So we have to draw first. It makes sense. We're going to draw first and then solve. 17 bundles of 10s. So our 10s look like they kind of look like these skinny bundles with a little rubber band. So we're drawing pictures. Be careful when you draw your tens. Don't don't do like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Like like that. You don't have to have ten in every one. And if you keep doing it, it's going to take you forever to draw them that way, and it's going to be a really big, sloppy, messy picture. They just have to look like you know the pictures that are in here, the skinny bundles. That's all. You don't have to count. All 10 of them, we can just say that that's a 10. We can see it. We're going to label these two. Now, how many of these do I need? That's 10, 10, 10, 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Ten, so that's ten tens right there. I'm gonna circle that, and I need seven more for seventeen bundles of tens, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and that's seven tens. How many straws did she bundle in all? We have ten tens is a hundred, seven tens is seventy, hundred plus seventy equals one hundred seventy. There we have our picture. We drew it. Just like we had to do. There's our number sentence, and there's our equation. She bundled hundred seventy sticks. And you gotta have all of that. You gotta have the picture, you gotta have this number sentence, and you gotta have you need to have that check mark or that one.